Sarah Jane Adventures The Eternity Trap, the fourth story of series three, is written by Phil Ford and it's starring Elizabeth Sladen, Daniel Anthony and Anjali Mahindra. So a novel, The Haunted House, is written by Trevor Baxendale for school literacy programs in September 2010 and Pearson Education published a simplified novelization of this episode. Another thing to mention is Luke Smith isn't in this serial because the actor Tommy Knight is busy with his GCSEs exams, which is why he's unavailable, which is understandable. Also, Mr. Smith, K9, Harash, and Gita Chandra aren't in this story either, so Elizabeth Sladen is the only cast member to appear in all Sarah Jane Adventures episodes. And this is also the first Sarah Jane Adventures episode to set in before Sarah Jane's birth. So in 1665 at Ashton Hill Manor, we explore the story of Lord Marchwood and how he employed Erasmus Starkening where he thought he made gold out of nothing, but his children Elizabeth and Joseph were spying on Erasmus and they get disappeared for eternity, with Professor Rivers telling the whole story. Again, great to bring back Floella Benjamin as Professor Rivers. So in present day, Sarah Jane, Clyde and Ronnie met up with Professor Rivers and her assistant, Toby Silverman, while Luke is at home. Professor Rivers tells Sarah Jane, Ronnie and Clyde the story as Toby has lost his screwdriver. Sarah Jane found it under the table. So that's okay. <laughs> as Sarah Jane, Ronnie and Clyde went up the stairs, they heard a church bell, so they ran back downstairs and there was silence. And Professor Rivers and Toby didn't hear it. Spooky. While Sarah Jane looks at the books, Ronnie and Clyde went to look around in the garden and they heard the sound of the girl screaming and there was no one there. The way Erasmus Darkening appeared and disappeared is really scary. So the music room where Sarah Jane, Ronnie and Clyde sits with Professor Rivers and Toby, we do get a bit of a insidious moment. So Sarah Jane phones Luke, Ronnie and Clyde phones their parents while the book kept turning the pages, Professor Rivers gets taken away. So Sarah Jane, Ronnie, Clyde and Toby went to look for her, but nowhere to be found. Just the sound of her voice on the walkie-talkie, this is so scary. This is so scary, the way toys are playing music and writing on chalkboard saying get out. Reminds me of Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island where Scooby and Shaggy are in the kitchen eating chilies and there's a ghost writing get out on the kitchen wall. And it's still terrifying. As the gang split up, Sarah Jane meets Elizabeth and Joseph, and we'd be thinking that it could be the twins from The Shining. The kids warned Sarah Jane to get away, and they wanted their father. It's also scary when there's red lights coming towards Sarah Jane outside, but luckily she's saved by Lord Marchwood's ghost. And Callum Blue is great in this. Meanwhile, Clyde and Ronnie found a secret passage and into the dark room. And it's funny when Clyde gets covered in spider webs and Ronnie called him Spider Man. And Clyde made a good point. The scene does look like it was directed by Tim Burton, which is cool. As they looked at the computer, they saw Erasmus Darkening, who's arrived. Oh my god, it's pretty scary. The music in this episode by Sam Watts is fantastic. It gives me the goosebumps. I like Adam Gillen as Toby Silverman, I thought he did a great job. Donald Sumter as Erasmus Darkening did so well, because the character is so dark and terrifying, and I think Donald did a fantastic job. And I'm sure he's a nice guy in real life. Erasmus Darkening is an alien scientist who would take others' lives through his experiments who sought and would later find immortality. So in part 2, Erasmus Darkening tries to stop Ronnie and Clyde to leave, but luckily Lord Marchwood saved them, and the kids led Ronnie and Clyde out of the secret passage. So in the study room, Sarah Jane walks in, and it is scary the way the door closes itself. While she hears Professor Rivers calling for help over again, and letting her know that he is coming for her, Clyde and Ronnie arrived and told her about the secret passage. Sarah Jane doesn't think that they're ghosts. So she went to see Lord Marchwood, and they found a lot of people who have disappeared standing on the stairs, which is pretty scary. Professor Rivers hasn't been absorbed yet, so Darkening made the people disappeared. So after Darkening does his scary talk, he disappeared, and Sarah Jane is thinking that he's playing with them. While Ronnie and Clyde are chased by something and pool table playing itself, 
Sarah Jane and Toby finds transdimensional accelerator the power to go through one dimension into another and it's also portal through time and space so Erasmus confronts Sarah Jane and Toby as she figured out that the machine is giving Erasmus and all the people that disappeared internal life and the creature that attacked her earlier came through that machine after Lord Marchwood rescues Clyde and Rani they all reunited and we get a cool scene where the portal effects surrounding Erasmus and he disappeared and the machine is destroyed by Sarah Jane with her sonic lipstick and yes Professor Rivers returns so while Professor Rivers gave up as it's alien not paranormal Ronnie, Clyde and Sarah Jane say that there's no such thing as ghosts even though Lord Marchwood and his kids peeking through the window. So, that's the Eternity Trap, and this is a scary story, and it's another great one. What did you guys think of the Eternity Trap? i love to hear your thoughts. Drop your thoughts on the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.